question of the day. Is Tennessee worth the hype? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. A definitely. million gajillion times, yes. That's a lot of yeses, <laughs> and I agree with every yes. You can't say that, though, and not explain why. So why do you think? Everything that I've heard about it before we moved has lived up to that expectation. The people are amazing. The nature is just beautiful. The food. <laughs> The food's been amazing and I think just being in Tennessee has really changed our lives mm -hmm. in like ways that we just like didn't imagine before we moved. I'd say I have two reasons why and I guess it kind of isn't really related to Tennessee but more moving in general. If I think of my life pre-move I would just always played it safe and just went with the flow of wherever life took me to that point. Mm -hmm. And then moving just pushed me out of the comfort zone to be like, wait, what am I even doing? Like, what do I want to create? I think just moving to a new place in general, even if it's not Tennessee, is like something that is just so beneficial, I think, for everyone to go through and to step out of the comfort zone. I'm not gonna lie though, at first <laughs> it's like, it's pretty uncomfortable. What is, what way is even north? Um, yeah. You don't know anyone, but literally no one knows you. So it's like a whole new life. And the second reason, I think I've just developed more of an appreciation for life. It sounds woo-woo-y or foo-foo-y. <laughs> like, I don't know the saying. <laughs> to, <laughs> to just be all around like nature and trees and just like makes me just feel so much more appreciation for how gifted we are to be alive. So about the state itself, <laughs> last time we made, to Tennessee. we made the video, we only had one weekend in spring to talk about. Mm -hmm. Now we've made it through the whole spring. Yeah. What do you think? It was very quick. It wasn't it was what quick. I expected. <laughs> I honestly thought that spring would last like three months, but it felt like it only lasted like a handful of weeks and then it was done. There was like trees that would bloom and then they would die and then it would bloom and then it would die and then it was summer and mm -hmm. that was it. It didn't rain as much as I thought it would and there were no tornadoes. Thankfully. So that like gave us a huge peace of mind of like, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're good, through the yeah. good first year. <laughs> yes. Historically, I have had the worst allergies mm. and I didn't have any. <laughs> Like it, the weirdest it, thing, I was re I was bracing myself. I was like, okay, this is gonna be horrible. And there was really only like two or three days where like I had the congestion and the like itchy eyes. And that was it. That's for you. And then for me, yeah. I've never historically had allergies, and I had them here. So. It's just luck of the jaw. Yeah, maybe my body just got it all out, and they're like, ah, oh, back to the trees. <laughs> maybe I was just allergic to Arizona. I don't know. Then I'm allergic to here. <laughs> <laughs> our second summer here. What do you think? It has been hot. Speaking of hot, our camera's going to overheat. The camera says it has been a hot summer. We which agree. Is true. <laughs> yes. So we had a theory though when we moved that our first summer was not as hot because we were so used to the 115 degree summers. Mm -hmm. And I think that the theory is true. You think so? Yeah. I think that this year is just like a hotter year. Could be that. Everybody I talk to is like, this is just like a crazy year. Hmm. So last year, June and July were perfect. June was so beautiful. July was like, warmer than june but not as bad and then august was like hot this year it feels like it was like june first and we were mm -hmm. in august it was yeah so it's been hot. toasty humid mm -hmm. there's been days where like i just don't want to be outside what's interesting is the weather app will say that it's supposed to rain like a lot and we're like yes please rain and yeah. then it doesn't rain yeah so the last couple weeks have been like that and then but it's, it's like the typical day is nice in the morning till like 8 a.m mm -hmm. and then at <laughs> 8 it starts to feel really hot and humid and then it's pretty much like that till the evening but it cools down enough where we sit on the patio and watch the sunset we did a hike on the fourth of july and i was <laughs> miserable yeah, it, it was, was so bad so <laughs> it's definitely like hotter yeah. just earlier this summer and i don't know if that's like a typical thing that we're gonna see going forward or if this is just like a really hot month so, hmm. or hot year we'll have so. to create a regression model a regression model <laughs> <laughs> that is <laughs> Must be an accounting thing, I don't know. In our last video, we were in the thick of house hunting and I'm happy to report that we have a house, we bought a home, and it's perfect, we love it, we love the neighborhood, we're just really thankful to be in it. Why are you laughing? I, I just always think it's funny when people say, I'm happy to report, or I'm happy, Melissa here, reporting live. <laughs> Well, I'm excited about it. Thank you Let for the report. Let people be excited. <laughs> report so, done. So, so Melissa, um, 
How does it feel being so far from your family? Honestly, I've been far from my family for the past eight years, so it has not made a difference. It's been hard, I'd say, for me, because Arizona was just so much closer, but we're lucky that they come out so much. They're coming out next week. All right, another question that we get a lot is, how do you make friends out there mm -hmm. when you move? Yeah. Take it away. Oh, back please, to, back please to me. Please report. <laughs> Honestly, finding like common interest activities has been like our biggest help. Mm -hmm. um, so it, whether that's through like a workout class, like F45 or Jiu Jitsu. Sitting in the sauna, that helped. Yeah, that's Ryan made so many friends <laughs> sitting in the sauna and I was like, okay. <laughs> Networking groups too, yeah. those have been my big ways of meeting people. As an introverted person, like it's really hard for me to make the first move, which is like, <laughs> friendship really is like kind of like a relationship. Yeah. You really have to like foster the relationship and like actually like make plans and follow through. <laughs> um, so it's been kind of a challenge just in that like putting ourselves out there again, but people are just so nice here that it really is pretty easy. I also think that if you have kids, that's really easy to like make other parent friends. We, we think. We Thing. We don't know, but all of our friends that have that have babies, all are friends with like a million people. So mm -hmm. we're like, oh, having Lucia has helped a lot because everybody loves to talk about their fur babies. So when you're walking them, they're like, oh, that's cute, and mm -hmm. then you become friends. Yeah, and neighbors. Mm -hmm. Neighbors. Yeah. Easy way. Take walks, hang out outside, and then people that also hang out outside will like naturally want to talk to you. And maybe remove some of the pressure about it too. It's like we don't have best friends like we did in Arizona and that's okay. Yeah, I, think I think it's just removed the stigma of like, oh, I need to have someone super close that I can hang out with all the time. It's like. Mm -hmm. Ooh, speaking of kids, we had a few questions in the comments on our last video about like what cities are great for families. And we think that Franklin, Spring Hill, Columbia, Nolansville, and Murfreesboro are great family friendly communities. And I heard also Hendersonville, which is north of Nashville. And if you are our age and you don't have a family yet, those are also really great neighborhoods and communities too. So to wrap it all up, Middle Tennessee is definitely worth the hype in our opinion and we love it. We're gonna stay for a long time. If we can leave you with one thing that helped us get here was if we don't like it, just move back next year. No harm, no foul. We hope this helps you and we hope to see you soon. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next video. Ta-ta.